Today I'm going to talk about citric acid. Uh, this is a request by one of the viewers that asked me to prepare a slideshow on how to do the quantitation of citric acid in liquid formulation. In USP monograph, there are three different uh, monographs related to citric acid. There is one for citric acid anhydrous, there is one for the citric acid monohydrate, and there is one for the sodium citrate. So, by looking at these three excipients, we cannot see much of a difference. They are all, all three of them are white powder. And also, if one were, one were to smell them, they don't have any smell either. Uh, there is no smell whatsoever. Uh, I initially thought they actually have a little bit of lemony smell to them, but it's not true. Uh, they have no smell whatsoever. And the smell of lemon comes from some other compound uh, called lemonin. Uh, I actually tried to taste them a little bit. The sodium citrate was, had a salty taste to it. Uh, it wasn't pleasant, but the other two excipients uh, were sour. It just, uh, they were just sour, sour taste. No lemony sour, it was just sour. It wasn't even just like acid. It's like, let's say you want to taste diluted hydrochloric acid, it would have the, probably the same taste. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to my PC and I will show you some slide on how to do the quantitation of these three excipients in uh, formulation. See you soon. Uh, hello again. Uh, so I'm going to continue this video by showing you some slide about citric acid and sodium citrate or quantitative and qualitative analysis in pharmaceutical products. As I said before, this video is a request by Jelani. Uh, he wrote a comment that uh, he asked me to prepare a slideshow on citric acid monohydrate determination in liquid formulation. And he said he prefers me to talk about the titration method, which I replied that I will do this. And I also will talk about the HPLC techniques, which is my, my preference. Well, very briefly, citric acid is used in pharmaceutical and cosmetic uh, products as a pH modifier. And also, it says that it has a chelating effect and it could stabilize the active uh, pharmaceutical ingredients. And uh, it also, in this slide, it says that it can be used as a fragrance, but I, as I said before, this uh, citric acid has no smell so it is very unlikely to be used as a fragrance uh, for the quantitative analysis i will talk about the hplc using uv detector hplc with elsc detector and also the titration uh, as i said before uh, citric acid is a compendial excipient and the, in usp there are at least three monographs that is related to the citric acid. And there are, uh, these monographs are for citric acid anhydrous, it is for citric acid monohydrate, and for potassium citrate. In anhydrous form of citric acid, uh, the monograph uh, lists a number of tests, and one of them is assay by titration. And the process is very simple. You just simply dissolve the citric acid in water and titrate it with sodium hydroxide. And um, there is a monograph for citric acid monohydrate. Uh, and the assay method is very similar to the previous monographs that I show you for anhydrous form. Uh, the titration is done using the sodium hydroxide. Now, there is a monograph for potassium citrate, and there is an assay method for potassium citrate, but this time it is different. Uh, the uh, excipient is dissolved in glacial acetic acid, and it is being titrated by perchloric acid. Now, the question is, um, can we use these uh, titration method for quantitation of potassium citrate or citric acid in finished product? The answer is yes, we can do it, but I highly recommend 
that we that you do the accuracy that is uh, you uh, obtain the citric acid placebo spike it with known amount of citric acid and do the titration and determine the accuracy of your method <coughs> now there is a problem uh, there could be a problem with the, this titration method and uh, the problem is that maybe uh, the citric acid was used as a pH modifier and there is a presence of uh, other base in the excipient that uh, neutralizes some of your citric acid and if it's the case the accuracy of the method will be very low and uh, to to see if this is the case or not you have to read the product label and figure out if there is any uh, sodium hydroxide is labeled or some organic base present in the formulation and if these excipients are on the label then I would say the titration method will give you wrong uh, amount mm -hmm. now I'm going to move to the HPLC method and the chromatogram that we see is generated uh, by using a mixed mode organic acid column the mobile phase is phosphate at pH 2.5 and mobile phase B acetonitrile the, the diluent I said here is depend on your formulation you could use water you could use acidified water you could use uh, water and organic it's all depending on the formulation that you have and if the formulation can be dissolved in wa water only or you need a, some sort of organic added to it but the overall strategy is that uh, your mobile phase is very acidic and as soon as your citric acid is injected into column it converts to fully protonated and if in the formulation you have a scenario that there is a, some sort of deprotonated and protonated amount of citric acid present in the equilibrium in the column they all convert to citric acid and you will get very uh, reliable and accurate uh, result using these methods uh, the next method is another HPLC UV it's a similar concept the mobile phase is acidic in this case is pH 3 and uh, wavelength again is 210 nanometer and uh, the whole concept is to convert your citric acid citrate mixture in the formulation into citric acid injected into the column uh, that has a re decent retention for citric acid and you get your peak coming out in this in this chromatogram we see it is happening at around seven minutes <coughs> there is another method uh, this time the detector is elsc and once again is a similar concept using uh, acidic mobile phase to convert the citric citrate into citric acid but in this uh, in this chromatogram, chromatogram that we see in this slide your detector is elsc so hplc versus titration method as i said uh, <coughs> the hplc is more reliable uh, it really doesn't uh, for HPLC it doesn't matter if you have a citric citrate mixture in the formulation uh, with a proper choice of mobile phase you will convert them all to citric acid and the number that you get is very reliable now if you want to do titration because you don't have HPLC then you have to be aware that uh, if the product labels uh, has some other base or even sodium hydroxide uh, listed then there is a possibility that the number that you get from uh, titration method it would not be accurate um, very quickly the FDA IID database for the citric acid monohydrate there are 97 entries I only show you some of them so that shows this excipient is very uh, common in the pharmaceutical products similarly the so, uh, anhydrous form of citric acid is very popular there are at least 58 different entries the references are FDA IED database USB and a monograph and suppliers websites and uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you 
have any experience working with citric or uh, citrate uh, i appreciate you write a comment and uh, share your experience with us and if you like this video i appreciate if you push the uh, like button thank you very much and have a great time goodbye <music>